With COVID cases and staffing shortages on the rise right now, some local restaurants are switching back to curbside only service. News 12 Connecticut's Sean McCabe has more from Jimmy's at Pizza in Milford. I don't ever remember closing for anything. You know, it just didn't happen. But uh, last uh, two years, year and a half has been just absolutely crazy. Jimmy's a pizza is back on curbside only for the time being as Omicron surges across the state. Pandemic hit over 20 percent and we said this is crazy. And plus, as you can see, I have a small dining room, so you're not going to be. I can't space people out. I just couldn't do it. Owner and 44 year pizza veteran James Ormrod says he's hired on help to run the orders and bring the pizzas to customers cars. We have a reader for the credit cards, so they don't even have to touch people's credit cards. They just run out and most for the most part, people have loved it. Despite longtime loyal employees, Ormrod says there have been times in the pandemic he's had to close down just because there was no one to work a shift. We did have trouble uh, before I closed the dining room getting people to work the afternoon. So I didn't I just didn't open. So we opened up at four o'clock every day and uh, Mondays and Tuesdays. The dining room was actually closed because we just couldn't get anybody to work. With a small family owned business and cases on the rise, Ormrod says it's better to be safe than sorry. If I get sick or my brother gets sick, we close. And if we close, it affects, you know, I, about 15 employees that I have. And obviously they need the money. He says going curbside only is easier for a place like Jimmy's a pizza, where takeout makes up 70% of business, even in normal times. The restaurants that got hurt were really kind of the fancy schmancy ones. You know, you're not going to go to, you're not going to go to a steak place and get a, a $70 steak and take it home. In Milford, Sean McCabe, News 12, Connecticut.